that was the first question every homeless person would ever ask me, Preacher, do you know where I can find a job? Preacher, do you know where I can find a job? And I didn't know where they could find a job. I didn't, there wasn't any jobs to be had <laughs> that they could not, that they could reach and work to uh, uh, from a homeless context. Um, and the only available work uh, for most of the homeless people were the temporary labor agencies in downtown Birmingham. And when they, when they told me um, what it required for them to work, I had never in my life had such a deep appreciation for their courage and their commitment to try to be a contributing person in uh, the, the economy and, and in the culture. But to work at a temporary labor agency in uh, downtown Birmingham, you have to get up at five o'clock in the morning. So here you are sleeping under the interstate in uh, downtown Birmingham. They'd have an old cell phone that didn't have any minutes on it that they would charge when they came into the reconciler. They'd plug it in one of the outlets so they could use it for an alarm clock so they could get up at five o'clock in the morning. And they would get up at five o'clock in the morning because they had to get down to the temporary labor agency by six. They didn't get there at six to sign in. There was no way they could get work that day. And there was no public transportation because buses don't start running till six after you have to be at the <laughs> temporary labor agent. So they would have to walk. Well, guess what would happen when they would get walk, when they would walk? Well, the police would stop them and run a background check. <laughs> and if they had any kind of warrant against them, wham, they were slammed in jail. They'd all start the whole process over again and lose even that opportunity. But if they got there and they signed in for work, and if you didn't get there real early, you know, people would beat you to sign in. Well, you'd get there in time, you'd sign in, but you didn't get to go out to work till 9 o'clock. So you had to sit there in a temporary labor agency for three hours. Because they wouldn't pay you eight hours if you work temporary labor. They only pay you six. So they would uh, they'd have to wait there in the temporary labor agency until nine o'clock. And then they would transport them to the work site. And they would charge them ten dollars a day for transportation back and forth from the job. Now they're just making minimum wage now. <laughs> Seven seven dollars an hour, and they would work six six hours a, a day, and a six times seven is forty two, right? <laughs> forty two. Well, uh, ten dollars of that goes for your transportation. So you're already down. <laughs> you're already down to thirty two dollars a day, right? Okay. Well, they'll also uh, uh, sell you a low calorie lunch for five dollars. <laughs> five dollar low calorie lunch which is really not enough food because the kind of work that the temporary labor people do is pretty pretty brutal and that's five dollars now what were we at we were 42 minus 10 that's 32 and you take five from that and that's what uh, 27 and uh, by the way you're going to need a hard hat and some boots so we're going to be so kind as to rent those to you for the day <laughs> so you you get down and uh, and uh, that's another five dollars, and so we're down to twenty-two dollars a day uh, for that, and uh, and then you get off at three because uh, you work six hours. You get off at three o'clock in the afternoon, right? but they don't pay you till six. <laughs> I'm gonna, they don't write you a check to pay you for the day until six o'clock. So you have to sit there and wait another three hours. Now you put in 12 hours from six to six and they're gonna write you this check. Where were we at? $22 I believe. So you get a check for $22 all right, a day. So you, they, you get the check for $22. Now you're not, you don't have access to banking. You, you can't bank that check. Uh, you don't even have an address, so there ain't nowhere in the world you can get a bank account to begin 
banking that. So what you got to do? Well, you got to go down to the BP <laughs> on the corner to cash your check. And they charge you another $5 for cashing your check. Now, and so uh, there you are. Um, where were we at? $22? Now you're down to $17, right? So you have put in six hours. 12 hours, you only got paid for six, and all of the deducts, as they call them, they call those are the deducts, preacher, <laughs> the deducts. Then I, I would have, a, and when I got my cash check, I, I'd have $17. Well, I'm starving to death. <laughs> and and suffering and got to go back under the interstate, so what do I do? Well, I buy me a six pack of beer, and I buy me some snacks, <laughs> and I hope I can make it to the firehouse shelter where they'll serve some supper tonight, but probably won't. And get up the next morning, and by the time you, if you buy, you know, uh, the snacks and the six pack of beer, you have less than ten dollars in your pocket now. Now, <clears throat> to do that day in and day out, and some of the people who slept on the streets in downtown Birmingham would work at the temporary labor agency that was out here off of uh, Arkadelphia Road and they would walk all the way, both ways, uh, to work. Now, when people tell me that the people who are homeless don't want to work, and yet they do that every day, to try to capture some sense of meaning in their life by having a job and to have some kind of petty cash in their pocket to have some kind of uh, make some kind of contribution to their family's existence who's trying to survive doubling and tripling up out here with another family it, you know it, it just uh, makes me very angry <laughs> <laughs> 